Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with another subscriber requested video. So this is another one that I turned around really quickly because she was another person that said she's new to the fragrance world and she's really, really into gourmands. That's what she's figured out that she really, really loves the most and asked if I would make a video about gourmand prep gourmand fragrances. So here we are. Gourmands are my absolute favorite as well. I love all fragrance. I am, I'm just such a lover of all perfume that it's hard for me to say that anything's my favorite. I love vintage. I love light florals. I love dark, heavy perfumes. I love gourmands. Like I love everything. So, but gourmands just have a really, really special place in my heart. If I'm really, really honest, that's what I want to smell like on a day-to-day -day basis is I want to smell like a yummy gourmand. So anyways, I've got a ton here in front of me. I'm just going to jump right in. So the first one that we're going to talk about is this one here. Now this one, this is from Michel Germain and it is called Sugarful. This one is a gourmand in that it smells like candy. It smells sweet and yummy and sugary like candy like seriously like candy now I think some people compare this to pink sugar but I don't get it's it's too tart to be pink sugar um, pink sugar doesn't have a candy like tartness the way that this does this smells like it could be like vanilla sweet tarts or something it is so good it's pretty affordable too i think this bottle is like 65 dollars maybe on the michelle germain website so yeah really affordable as well and it's sugary and yummy and amazing the performance on this is also amazing it will i mean eight ten hours easily it's just such a good one. So yeah, I couldn't make a gourmand fragrance video without Michelle Germain. Sugarful, it's just amazing, so. Okay, next we have one from Reminiscence. This is from the, the Les Notes Gourmand uh, line of fragrances, and this one is called Heliotrope. This is my absolute favorite one. I've had all three of them, and I that's the only one that I kept. This one is just the best it is the best of all three it in my opinion it's almond it's powdery it stinks it's so good it's like sweet powdery yummy almonds or it smells like what you imagine divinity that candy that nougat type stuff divinity it smells like what you would imagine that to smell like if it had a smell, which usually it doesn't. But it's just kind of like, it doesn't have marshmallow in it, I don't think, but it's just kind of like a marshmallowy, like sweet powdery almond fragrance. It is so good. And this is the one that lasts. This one performs the best out of all three of them as well. This one definitely, I mean, spray it on one time and you're good for the rest of the day. It lasts forever. This one performs really, really well. So anyways, that is Lane Notes Gourmand from Reminiscence Heliotrope. This one is amazing and the best. This next one, I just talked about this in my, I think the last video that I posted. This is Luscious Pumpkin from Ganache Parfums, which I just got an email from Ganache yesterday. It looks like he's going to be opening back up. Um, he's been kind of selling on and off pretty much the entire time ever since he said he was gonna close. I don't know what, what it's going to actually look like. Like I said, I just got the email. It said something about a, re, a rebirth. He had a picture of a phoenix behind him. So, um, and he said he had a big announcement and that something about the brand being reborn. So I am so excited. <laughs> I love Ganache. I hated the fact that they were going to close. I was so sad and... Oh my gosh, if he does reopen, I really hope that he does this fragrance again because this is one that you can't get and this is one of my favorites that I've ever smelled from the house. It is so incredible. If you like pumpkin, this smell, and he's put some kind of a booze note in it. I can't find the notes anywhere right now. I'm hoping that I'll be able to find it, find them somehow. It smells, it's got like a booze note in it. Like it's wine. like whiskey or rum or brandy or something and pumpkin pie. It's creamy. It's amazing. It is amazing. It's one of my favorite fragrances by from Ganache, like it's got hands down. In there. It does have cinnamon in it and it is so good. 
oh my gosh, this is one of my fragrances that will never go, will never be put away. Like I will, it's funny because I'm going to keep it out, but I'm probably only going to wear it like once every few couple months or few months because I'm going to have to ration it unless he comes back out with it and then I can buy a backup bottle of it. It's amazing. It's the best pumpkin based fragrance I have ever smelled in my life. Like the best, better than anything you can find at Bath and Body Works, better than anything. I've ever smelled. It's incredible. So anyways, that is Luscious Pumpkin. This one, it doesn't last like a super long time, but it's totally fine. I'm happy to just be able to wear it. It's so good. Okay, this next one is a Gallagher fragrance. This one is a little bit on the pricey side, but it's worth every penny. It is the best chocolate fragrance that I've ever smelled in my life, and it is my absolute favorite. This is Wicked Good from Gallagher Fragrances. Um, this is chocolate Madagascar vanilla and Tonka bean, and it is like this dark, warm, rich chocolate fragrance. You mostly get the chocolate and the Tonka bean. The vanilla lends maybe just a bit of sweetness to it, but this is all about the chocolate and the Tonka bean, and it is so incredible. It is by far my favorite chocolate chocolate fragrance on the planet. I mean, I feel like if you are a chocolate lover or if you're just looking for an amazing chocolate fragrance, like this is it. This is the one. So anyways, that is Wicked Good from Gallagher Fragrances. It's amazing. Okay, speaking of chocolate fragrances, this next one is amazing for the price. This is from Al Rahab and this is called Choco Musk. Now this is an oil, it does come in a spray form as well, but it lasts longer in the oil form. You can pick this up on a website called Triple Traders for like $2.89, or you can get it in a six pack for like $12 or $14. Um, it's crazy, but it is so good. This is like a sweet, this is more vanilla than it is chocolate, but it's like a sweet chocolatey vanilla. Oh, it's it's, the best. It is. It's creamy. It's sweet. It's yummy. It smells like ice cream. Yes, it smells exactly like something you would want to eat. It smells like chocolate vanilla ice cream. It is so, so good. I leave this out all the time. Thank goodness I've got three of them because Charlotte and I have already used this one. This one's like halfway gone mm -hmm. and we've had it for like, I don't know, a month and a half, two months and it's already halfway gone because we both use it. She loves it just on its own. I love to use it to layer and I also love it just on its own. Sometimes I'll just wear it by itself. It is so good. So anyways, that is Chaco Musk from Al Rahab. Such a good affordable one. Okay, this next one, this is another one that it's, this is a pricey house, but I found this on Fragrance X, I think. Fragrance X or Fragrance Net for I think like in the $80 range. This is from Frank Boclet and this is just called Vanille. Now this, this is a vanilla fragrance, but this has a very, very prominent lime note in it. So this ends up smelling... This ends up smelling like straight up key lime pie. Seriously, like key lime pie filling. You even kind of get the crust. Like it smells like key lime pie, like just straight up key lime pie. It is vanilla. It's this really beautiful, thick, rich, sweet vanilla. But the sweet lime in it makes it smell like pie. It's amazing. It smells like something that you would want to eat and I am obsessed with this fragrance. Um, yeah, this is one I haven't had for very long and I've already got a pretty good dent in it because I love it. I wear it all the time. So anyways, that one is called Frank Boclet Vigny. It's such a good one. Okay, this next one. Oh my gosh. Um, I love Dua. They make amazing fragrances. They make a ton of really, really amazing gourmands. They've got one called Belgian Choco Truffle. Um, they have clones. They've got like um, original creations and they make the most amazing gourmands that last absolutely forever. This is one of my favorites. This is one called Caramel Palm Delight. This is Killian Apple Brandy and Zerjoff Lira mixed together. So you get this really beautiful, it really is just like a caramel apple perfume. Their apple perfumes in general are just really, really good. I think I've got almost every apple fragrance that Dua makes because 
I'm obsessed with their apple perfumes. Oh my gosh, this one reminds me of Halloween. I always wear this one around Halloween time because it's just like the perfect Halloween fragrance. It's the most decadent, yummy smelling caramel apple ever. It's amazing. So yeah, it's, I love it so much. I love Duo fragrances. This one is an absolute beast. It wears like most Duo's and it's so good. So that one is Caramel Apple Delight from Dua. This next one, you can't find this anymore, but Ganache makes fragrances like this. He's got like at least four different kind of lemon pie, lemon dessert kind of fragrances that you, and you can find something that smells like this or even better. This is a Sweet Pastry in Paris from Zara. It smells like creamy lemon pie, like lemon meringue pie or something like that. And yeah, I pulled this one knowing that you can't get this one anymore, but also knowing that hopefully, fingers crossed, ganache is coming back and they make some beautiful lemon dessert, like lemony clair, um, just yummy lemon dessert-like fragrances. So yeah, I will definitely keep my eye on what's going on with the website and I will try to keep you guys updated. And as soon as it comes back, if it does come back, fingers crossed, I'm thinking it is, um, I'll let you guys know as soon as I know. So anyways, that is a, a Sweet Pastry in Paris. I just dropped the lid. I'll pick it up in a minute. But that is the Sweet Pastry in Paris from Zara. Beautiful, yummy lemon dessert fragrance. Okay. I... This next house that we're going to talk about, it's Little Indie House. This is probably the best gourmand house out there that I've tried so far. I am slightly obsessed. I just did, um, I just made another big order. I can't wait to get it and share it with you guys. Um, that is, it's a house called Coco Pink. And like I said, it's a little indie house. They make the best gourmands on the planet. They have so many different fragrances to choose from and I would say like the majority of them are gourmand. Mm -hmm. So one of my favorites is this one here. It's called Cinderella's Carriage. Oh my gosh, it's like white chocolate vanilla cupcakes and marshmallow and like a walking cupcake which is my dream. Like that's what I aspire to smell like is a walking cupcake. So somebody commented in the last video that I talked about Coco Pink that when they send out the samples, they automatically come in the strongest formulation that they make, which is amazing to know. So I know that when I order a full bottle of Cinderella's Carriage, that's exactly, it's gonna come exactly how the sample was, which I am so happy. Yeah, this is one of my, that is Cinderella's Carriage from Coco Pink is, probably my number one gourmand fragrance of life. It's the best thing ever. Um, in fact, I'm, I need to just go ahead and order a full bottle very soon. Um, I think I'm gonna order a whole line, like the whole line of stuff though. I'm gonna get lotion, I'm gonna get a body oil, I'm gonna get the perfume. You can get shampoo and conditioner. Like I think I'm gonna go to town and just order everything that they offer in this scent. Yes because it is the best gourmand on the planet. Again, that one is Coco Pink Cinderella's Carriage. Um, I also have this one. This is Mad uh, Viniglia del Madagascar. If you like the smell of bourbon vanilla, you would like this. I'm not the biggest fan of bourbon vanilla, but that, it, that one is a really, really good quality one. Um, Sugarworks Beauty Lab also makes a really good quality bourbon vanilla fragrance. But yeah, that's Vin Viniglia del Madagascar. Um, I've got this one called Bonfire Pumpkins. What? Oh my gosh, it's like a smoky pumpkin fragrance. It's Halloween in a bottle. It is amazing. It's like slightly sweet, creamy. Did you just spray that in your hair? <laughs> it's like slightly sweet to creamy pumpkin with just a touch of woody smokiness. It's amazing. Oh my gosh, so that one is called Bonfire smell Pumpkin. My head. Smell my head. Ooh, you smell amazing. <laughs> okay, next we have Come Hither. This is another amazing Come one. Hither? Yeah, this one's like a grown up vanilla, basically. It's Come it's not overly sweet. It's just this really beautiful kind of grown up vanilla smell. It's amazing. And then we've got Triple Vanilla Dream, which is so good. Okay. This is like Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath and Body Works. It's Spiritus du Bleu Vigny. Okay. 
Okay, it's it it's just like a whole bunch of different vanillas, maybe even Tahota. It's like a whole bunch of different vanillas mixed, and they do make a Tahota dupe too, which I'm going to try. The, I need to get a sample of the Tahota dupe because that was the, that's the only reason I don't own a bottle of Tahota is because it doesn't last long enough on me for me to want to spend that kind of money on it. Um, but she probably makes a way better clone of it, so I need to check out her clone of Tahota. It's probably amazing. Okay, and then next we have a Montel fragrance. This is called Vanille Absolue. This smells like straight out vanilla cake. Um, it's a beast of a fragrance too. It lasts absolutely forever. You can easily get 10, 12 hours out of this fragrance. Every time you move, you're gonna smell like a warm baking vanilla cupcake. Like it's amazing. It's such a good vanilla fragrance, but I have a dupe for you. Um, this fragrance from Outremer called Vanille smells almost identical to Vanille Absolue from Montal, and it lasts just as long. This is an absolute beast of a vanilla fragrance. This one, I, I will go to town with it. I will spray it all over in my hair. I'll spray 10, 12 sprays, and it will get me through the entire day. Like, you only have to spray it one time. It's really, really amazing. You can find it on Anthropology for $18. If they don't have it, Small Flowers got it for, I think, $22. And I'm telling you guys, it smells almost identical to Vanille Absolue from Montal. These are very, very similar. And then last but not least is, this is a newly like this is a new love for me. This is from Sugarworks Beauty Lab. I ordered this quite some time ago and I just hadn't had a chance to test it yet, but I did just recently. This is called Chai Creme Anglaise. It smells like a warm chai tea latte that is topped with marshmallows. It is super sweet, super creamy, super spicy. It's amazing. It's an absolute beast too. I put this on one day like in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning or something. I wore it all day. I went to bed. I woke up the next day and I still smelled like this. It's amazing. It's a bakery scent. It's like, it's a dessert in a bottle. This is another one I need to get. <laughs> I need to get on and I need to get some other products like it to layer because this is incredible. It's such an incredible, it's like, it's right up there with Cinderella's Carriage. It's so, so good. So anyways, that is from Sugarworks Beauty Lab and that is called Chai Creme Anglaise. It is so good. Sugarworks Beauty Lab has a ton of really good gourmands too. Um, but if I had to tell you to check one person out, I would say check out Coco Pink because, oh my gosh, they're so good. Okay, this could not be a gourmand fragrance video without Pink Sugar from Aqualina. This is like the original Gourmand to me. This came out in like the early 2000s, I think. This is where my love for Gourmands started. This was amazing. I remember feeling like, I don't know, there weren't other, if I remember correctly, I think technically the first Gourmand fragrance on the market was uh, Mugler Angel. And I do, I think I do consider Angel a Gourmand for sure, especially because of that beautiful chocolate note. It's like a chocolate patchouli, it's beautiful. But to me, that one's not really an edible gourmand. It's still a little bit too perfumey. This one definitely has a, a perfumey aspect to it as well, but this one is more edible. This is more vanilla, more caramel. It's sweeter, it's sugary. It's like, in my mind, this is the original gourmand. I love it. This is where my love for gourmand fragrances began, so. Yeah, um, this is like the OG gourmand. Um, so anyways, that is Pink Sugar from Aqualina. And then last but not least, we've got this one here. This is Van Cleef and Arpels Orchidée Vanille. And this is definitely much more perfumey. This has so many other notes in it. Um, oh my gosh, this is like a grown-up gourmand. This is chocolate and vanilla, but it's got like an herbaceous quality to it because it's got... I don't know, it's got a lot of other notes in it. It's got almond and tonka, it's got some lighter notes, it's got rose and lychee, which I really don't get. Maybe in the very initial spray I'll get some of those, 
but I mostly get the chocolate and the vanilla and the almond and the tonka. It's more of a gourmand like Wicked Good is. These are kind of similar. They definitely don't smell alike at all. This is way more simple and than this is. They're alike though. They're not overly sweet. They're not, in fact, almost not sweet at all. They're more just kind of like grown up gourmands with the idea of sweet, the idea of chocolate, the idea of vanilla, like the idea of something decadent, but not juvenile smelling and not sweet in any way. It's beautiful. It's a gorgeous grown-up gourmand fragrance. So yeah, that is Van Cleef and Arpels Orchid Avenue. And that is going to be it, guys. I do have so many more in my collection. I've got a ton of gourmands, but I didn't want to get too crazy with it. And I knew you'd get the idea with this selection here. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one.